hope, um, um, you, don't, you don't see it. So if you sit in the West and you read the news, you don't see it. If you come and do what I do every day, you don't see it every day, but you see glimpses of it. You meet stories of young people who understand and who are working hard to see change. You meet stories of young ladies who get it and don't, don't let themselves mold by tradition, but rather start seeing their identity as created in dignity and gifted by God to be agent of change. So there is hope. There is hope and there is a lot more people who wants to see change than people would like to say. What we need to be working at presently is to create an ecosystem that makes this change possible, that makes this hope more real. Um, that it's not just in the speeches and the, and the talks of pastors or Christians like me and you, that it is, it is something that everybody can feel in the air. And that's the work that I think uh, we need to be focusing on now, is to creating an ecosystem that makes the hope real to everybody and basically give them a possibility to hope. Yes. Um, and that's what we need to be doing. Um, that's what we're trying to do with the leadership. Basically what we do, we give them tools for leading, but, but, but in a nutshell, we're just really saying to them, there's hope, there's hope, it's possible. That's all they need to do. They need to know and they need to hear people speak into their ears and encourage them and say to them every day, it is possible. It is possible. Um, and it's the word, it is possible that we give them and that will give them hope. So yes, there is hope. Um, uh, but for, for the hope to be felt by everybody, we need to work. We need to work at creating a narrative locally and internationally. Uh, we need to create a, a group of, of, of partners or accomplices in this project, people who will help us make our voices reach in places we can't, uh, because we need to change the narrative. If you can change the narrative at grassroots level, at a higher level, you will create the hope that people uh, need so as they can now start working toward the change that is required. Yes, there is hope. Amen, amen. <laughs> That's why I'm here anyway. I wouldn't yeah. be here if I didn't think there was hope. That is right, that is right. Um, I, I, I second that myself. I, yeah, I believe there is hope. Uh, someone uh, told me when I started, when we started Kitoko Oil and I was presenting someone, they, they told me that, you know that uh, hope doesn't sell. And, and I was like, hope doesn't sell really nobody will ever give you the money if you are selling hope you have to sell misery in order for you to to be able to get and i think that oh, is see, a, that's the problem yeah that you're right that's the problem the problem is a narrative that we we are given about specific places i mean this is not today this is started 200 years ago and yeah. i think people don't realize for for king leopold ii to be given the congo what, what did he say? He said, oh, I'm going to save these people from, from slavery. And so since that day, all the marketing, let me use the word marketing or narrative about mm -hmm. Africa and speci especially the Congo has always been negative. And, and I'm not surprised because if, you, if that's the only narrative that there is, what result do you want to see on the ground? I mean, there will not be any other result. It will just be dark because everybody expects it to be dark. Yeah. And so we, we're saying, no, 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 no. We have to say that it's light, it's got potential. There's great things happening here. And there's greater things to happen. And so, yes, I fully back you, brother. Um, and I, I hope sells, you know, I mean, who, 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 look at the movie industry, right? Look at Hollywood. Yeah. Who goes to watch hopeless movies? Nobody. No one. We watch movies. We watch because they inspire us, because they give us hope. So yes, hope does sell. It may just not have been selling for Congo, but that's where we want to go. Yeah. 